Exiles, how are we doing? Mr. A2G, back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going, guys? Okay, so today we're going to raid um, a few of the raiders' huts. So, a little bit different to the camp uh, sites that we did in the last week's video. So, we're going to do the raiders, see what type of loot that you guys can expect to get if you raid multiple um, uh, raiders' huts in succession. Or within their cooldown timing period there so I think for reference I think they run to about seven hours 30 minutes to eight hour cooldown so it gives you it's really gives you actually um, um, it gives you some bit of time to sort of move around and you know raid multiples if you're gonna go one out the, the other or if you have to run back home or um, you know and just sort of you know recoup or do something else if you guys get you know sidetracked or anything like that but otherwise um, we'll see how we go, see what type of loot we can get. Hopefully it's good. Um, with raiding the um, the zone itself and killing all the enemies in between, for me, to my surprise, I actually got a decent amount of um, animal fat, which was good. So you got a lot of them out of the dark walls and obviously the bear if you jump down into the cellar. And, you know, you do get some decent amount of pelt. Uh, raw meat and you know all, all the little bits and pieces that you guys uh, may need if it's early in game or if you just want to sort of test yourselves against these type of animals if you can survive the zone and if you can sort of break in and uh, get the job done basically so hopefully um, this would sort of show you or give you um, more than enough to sort of go upon and see you know if it's worth your while so this is what we're checking out today now um, I managed to get through pretty much all the bases without having to attack the uh, stone walls so you don't need to worry about breaking down stone walls because there will be a wooden door where the entrance to the stone section will be so hopefully um, that's some good advice for you guys who weren't in the know or have avoided the area because you guys haven't been able to get in there prior to that so it's been like this for a little while now so um, I hope you guys sort of, you know, um, you know, enjoy the fact that you can now actually get in here, which is a good thing. So without having to break down the, the stone uh, walls themselves, which is a good thing. And why do you get cheese from a roomsmith table is beyond me. So a bit of an annoying thing, but what do you do? Anyway, guys, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of stuff there so you don't miss out on any videos that come onto my channel with uh, Saga of Survival or any other games that I'm currently playing. Um, hopefully, we'll get some life after as well um, in the next video, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys do enjoy uh, watching those type of videos. I'm trying to sort of level up but not to to a point where i'm sort of missing out on content for you guys uh sort of trying to walk you through it but depending on how you guys sort of want to uh, want me to play the game if you want me to get more involved into the game as opposed to just sort of running through and just doing the tutorial itself uh let me know guys um be interested to know what your feedback with that would be and yeah that's basically it so we've nearly cleared the top side here and hopefully we will get a little bit more charcoal so i do need that charcoal so as i said guys you really don't need um you know any sort of um uh, hard to come by weapons or anything like that to break down um these walls here so predominantly depending on where you're at with uh levels and things like that i would normally suggest the pyro ring would be a good start if you guys can craft it or if you guys got some lying around it does good wall damage there, even the bludgeon, which is another good weapon for you to use. Um, what else would there be? Um, or if you guys have the level already, um, use the the iron pickaxe. I think that would probably be the best item I think you guys could use, uh, based on you know things like durability and things like that. But that would be my opinion on it. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. So, yeah. Okay, so we are running through here now. And where are these chests? Well, that's chest number one. And we'll grab the main chest and then we'll duck out, run over to the next zone. Okay, and we have... Oh, haven't seen one of those in a while, but I'm not going to bother with them. And... You know what? 
What, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Has binding been harder to come by for you guys or do you get it in drips or drabs? Let me know because it's been a little bit of a slow burn for me with that. So yeah, just don't know why I haven't been getting a lot of binding as of late and rivets as well. They sort of come in bursts here or there. Don't know what that's all about. Nice, grab those, action those. All right, I will see you guys in the next zone. One moment. All right guys, second zone. Let's get at it. Let's see what we can get from this one here. So there's a few, um, or there's a couple I should say, uh, configurations for the Raiders Hut. So this is the second one as well. So take note and uh, see the, the differences here and the areas that I've obviously used to get into um, the zone itself. So hopefully this will be a little bit helpful as well. Um, as well as just doing the raids today and just showing you what we're getting from the all the loot chests and all that sort of good stuff so hopefully this is beneficial to you guys Ooh, nice all right well you we don't come by those often so we're gonna have to do a bit of our jumbling around where's our horse okay so what i'm gonna take away will be items that have no stack value and quickly drop some of these over here which I probably won't need anyways and up the elm and that there cool let's get back into that and take the rest awesome grab that and let's have a look okay. and what do we have here the rune table I think yep and just food okay so nothing special ooh you know what I better um heal my guy because he will die not good not good all right well as soon as we raid this chest here we'll get some heals back into him okay so what do we got oh nice score score Totally worth it. Totally worth it, guys. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> there you go. There's a drop rate of meteorites. So, 100%, guys. If you guys want to raid a couple of these zones, you know, in succession, yeah, you definitely want to jump in. Because you might get lucky just like that, which is awesome. All right. And that, that's that's the whole idea for this, this type of series. So, I think this is actually going to be possibly the last montage I'm, I might make for a little bit and the reason for that is because we've done all the all the zones it, it is what it is so there's like there's only so much that we can do and obviously we're not going to do any sort of repeat or anything like that unless if you guys want me to do a repeat let me know in the comments whatever zone you want uh whether it be the dungeon the the chieftains cursed forest dark woods uh whatever you want let me know and if there's any sort of suggestions there i can sort of you know revisit i might even do it in a slightly different way um but you let me know and hopefully we can yeah hopefully we can benefit and you guys can you know get a bit of a um a kick out of it i, I guess or maybe i might just you know continue and collating a whole lot of keys for example and all that i do is just open up chests so all the glowing chests so non-stop glowing chests so i won't bother with all the other chests I'll just open up the glowing ones and yeah if you guys are interested in that let me know um, I'm always happy to do something like that I still have a decent amount of keys so you know I've got to sort of get rid of them in a way but if there's any interest there let me know guys and um, and we'll work to it anyway nearly done here we'll head into the cellar and we'll see what's what Okay, so we're nearly pretty much at the halfway well so you know re realistically nearly three quarters of the way through so we'll probably get to one more zone and probably call it a video I think I think that'll probably be a good idea and there should be one up here yes it is and let's see what we get from here all right what have we got so I'll probably just drink that, take that. Love the fact that I'm getting a bit of charcoal as well. It's always a good thing. Especially 
that amount of charcoal there, which I've nearly got a full stack. I think that's about 40. No, not 40. What am I saying? Um, that's about 80, 80 pieces of wood, just to give you an idea. I'm sure you guys already know that, but, you know, I'm just bringing that up, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's 80, 80 log pieces. So, you know, when you sort of put that into perspective, you know, it makes... It makes all the sense in the world just to pick it up you know especially that you can get you save yourself that time from crafting it and you know you can put that into you know resources there you go i've got my full stack so that's 80 logs right there okay and what do we have in the main chest and nearly nearly there just looking at my timer while I'm looking at this as well. So a bit over the 11 minute mark right now. All good. Okay, cool. I'll catch you guys in the next zone. All right, guys, we are in the last zone and let's grab the remaining chest that we've got here. All right, so I thought I might just start in the cellar for this time round, just to see if I can get myself out of here a little bit quicker, but we'll see how we go. Anyway guys, if there's any other ideas um, that you guys want me to do um, with the videos and things like that, let me know. Um, there's a couple of people that have already thrown out a couple of suggestions. So um, one I'm, I'm going to be putting together is, I don't know how I'm going to actually do it. I don't know if I'm going to put any graphs or, or imagery on the video or anything like that. But I think I might go through a, a minor um way of sort of you know um or what gives you the best type of um exp boost when you're trying to either just say level up or if you're trying to uh complete the challenges for the xp challenge which is where we're currently at at the moment and my guys are doing quite well so <coughs> nearly got the the first ranking for um for the first lot of uh rewards so we'll probably get right into the next part very soon and hopefully we'll get the rare um tier which basically would be a two star of the same item unless if they've changed it but it's been a common theme um to this point so not too sure if they will change it or not uh, in the future. I hope they do. I mean, we need a little bit more variety when it comes to the reward system as well. Um, and I think I think that's something that needs to happen shortly, especially, you know, we keep doing this over and over again and we're just chasing very similar items. It was great when it first started because we did get some pretty decent loot and loot that's obviously not available in game for us to obtain aside from doing uh, the clan mission. So hope the devs look at that and they sort of you know um rebalance or recycle what they've got and implement other things into the game hopefully that would be uh, a probability hopefully soon and okay so we've got bronze metal very good take that and we'll race over here grab what we've got here and then what we'll do is we'll do our standard back to base and we'll show you what we've got at the end of it. So hopefully not too much longer now. And we'll take that. And okay. So since using the horse as well, I am starting to go through a bit of my hay. So any hay that I get now, I'm probably not gonna just leave it behind because obviously we need it now. So it is a you know it's a bit of a currency just for the horse, unfortunately. And the way that they set it up. And I know it's been, I know the horse has been out for quite some time now, but the whole, you got to uh, implement a full stack for it just so you could use it again. You can't sort of top up with one or two and use it for, you know, um, throughout your game session. I think they should really sort of look at that um, personally, but I guess, you know, it, it is what it is. It's how they set it up. Um, I mean, it's been like that for a while, I'm sure. But I mean, now that I've got my horse, it's the experience and now just you know, learning a little bit more about it. Um, but hopefully they can expand on that as well. Hopefully that they, they might allow us to, you know, tame multiple horses or even upgrade the horse. Uh, that'd be really cool. So, you know, it gives us a uh, better capacity to either, you know, uh, carry items or, um, or, or longer stamina. Um, that's probably something that I'd like for, um, you know, for an upgraded horse to have, you know, more stamina. So the hay that you feed it, it, you know, it could last a day and a half, for example, if you uh, bring it up to like level two or three or, you know, max level, maybe two days for one lot of hay. I think that'd be, um, 
I think that that'll be reasonable. That's just my opinion with that. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that as well. Um, I think that's an interesting concept. But, you know, I think those type of things are probably going to be a little while away before we sort of get into looking at that, unfortunately. But they're, they're, they are trying to push out um, other updates. So hopefully we're going to get the new updates soon. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And, yeah, I'm just hoping it's, that, it's the second, third, whatever, how many levels is for the dungeon. I cannot wait for that. Um, if you if you watch my last video, guys, um, yeah, excitement all around. I cannot wait until uh, that next update. So very hyped for that. All right. So what have we got here? Okay. And this would pretty much take it through. And I'll just grab that chest just in that little corridor there as well. And okay, this will be the last one. <coughs> Excuse me guys, sorry. Alright, so last chest, I can't even take any of these. Um, Alright, so I will probably leave that and that, take that and that, and that's it. Yeah, I'll leave that behind. It's only food, don't need it. Alright guys, I will catch you back at base. Alright guys, so we are back at base and this is what we've got. Okay, so we've got a, quite a number of things uh, loaded up into this. So key callouts for me would be the explosive charge and the meteorite. I think that there is probably well worth um, everything that we sort of got ourselves today. So wrapped with that outcome there. And I think I've got a few things with the horse. So that and basically what I've got there. So the elm log, of course, doesn't go astray any time that you see elm. Uh, do not pass up on that whatever you've got in your inventory all right guys that's everything that's going to go ahead and leave it for today thank you for watching as always as i said guys if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button notification bell all that sort of good stuff like and comment guys all right see you guys take it easy catch you next time